Guys, what's up? It's Josh here. Welcome to this episode of Free Magic Live. This is kind of like a, a special episode because it's in case you have um, a special someone that you, you're thinking of giving a gift to or surprising or doing something nice for. Um, now, very easy, but let me give you a few tips of this um, on how to make it more effective for you as well. So, the idea is that you're making a lovely heart appear. This is an origami heart that um, if you want to learn how to make this, I will put the link here. It's the same link that I learned to, to make this as well. That um, if you want to learn how to make this, I will put the link here. It's the same link that I learned to, to make this as well. I used origami paper, very simple, but you can use any paper. You could use a napkin or you could just use um, A4 paper and anything like that. But you also need for this um, double-sided stick tape, okay? Double-sided stick tape or normal tape and just make a loop out of it. Now, this is very easy, but all that's happening is you have the tape on the back of your heart here, okay? And you're actually going to tape it to the back of your palm. And the way you want to put it is so that when you turn your hand over, it's going to face upwards. There's no point making a heart appear and it's like this. So turn your hand over, place it on, make sure that it's not uh, too big so that when you turn this way, it's sticking out here. And if you have smaller hands, then just use a smaller piece of paper when you make the heart. So sticks on here. So when you turn your hand this way, it's not there. And that's the main part of the secret. So obviously you just need to act casual when you do this. So the way you would set this up in the real world is you would have this heart in your back pocket. And when you put your arms behind your back for a moment before you before you've told them you're gonna perform the routine, um, you would just stick it on the back of your hand. And then all you have to do is come out with your hands facing this way and you're fine. So there's many different presentations, but for the most part, you can draw a heart in the air, take it, place it in this hand as if they think something's going to appear and then it doesn't, which you've, all you've done is reiterate that this hand is empty. And then when you throw it and catch it, as you go to put it on your hand when you turn it over, just make sure that this hand covers the heart as you're coming down. So it would be like this, and then slowly reveal it and lift it up like this. Now you'll notice when I'm doing this, you're not hearing a big because tape uh, is very loud when you're peeling it off. And that's tip number one, is that when you put the tape on, you want to just pat it down for a little while to get the main stickiness off. That way, when you're peeling it off, you can't hear hardly anything. So that um, takes a, that takes away that sound. So that way, they're not going to figure out straight away how you did it, and they're not going to it's not going to sound weird. Um, so definitely, <laughs> definitely do that. Also, if you're worried about them seeing the tape on here, because once you produce it, it's nice, and and they're not really going to worry too much. But if you want to cover your tracks. Instead of using stick tape, you can actually use blue tack because blue tack works the same on your skin. It will still stick, um, but what you can actually do is just once you produce it, you can just take that blue tack off and then give them the heart and they're not going to see anything. So that is uh, another tip as well. This is just a surefire way um, to make it appear nicely. And another tip just to throw out some ideas for you. I'm using an origami heart because I think it's very nice and, and elegant, but you could use other things. You could use um, a chocolate heart if it's small enough. So you could actually make a chocolate heart appear. That's very nice. Um, you could use other different shapes, um, other sort of heart related objects or any object really. But um, you know, for the sake of it being for a loved one, this is a nice gift that they will cherish and um, which you would just produce from an impossible in a possible way. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Free Magic Live. Feel free to comment below on who you're going to give this to or your idea of this presentation. I would love to see it. But as always, feel free to check out more of our videos and subscribe, like, and comment. Or don't if you don't want to, but pl pl please do. <laughs> um, or JJ will kill me. And uh, I'm just kidding. I don't think he can hear us. But guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in another video.